today we're going to talk about tails. Who has a tail? Do you have a tail? No. <laughs> Can you tell me something that does have a tail? What? A dog has a tail, you're right. How about, who do you see on the, who? A cat. A cat, that's right. Okay, well let's look at, this book says tails. <clears throat> and who else does it show? A horse. A horse, that's right. Snake's tail is all in a muddle. A cat's tail gives kittens a place to cuddle. A horse's tail swishes at flies. Look, someone's going to have a picnic by that horse. That's nice. A skunk's tail, uh-oh, stands up high. Ooh, boy, you don't want to be around a skunk with that going on, do you? A peacock's tail, I bet this will be pretty, opens wide. And a monkey's tail gives her baby a ride. Look at that little monkey. Now, do little monkeys really have pink blankets? No. No. <laughs> That's a make-believe picture, isn't it? Oh, goodness, he does. <laughs> uh, and when dog wants to be found, his tail goes round and round and round. <laughs> And that's the end of that. So that was some tale books, but here's some kind of wilder tales. Let's see what these wild animals do with their tails. <clears throat> Oops. All kinds of tales. Look at this guy has his little tail curled all up there. See that? Lots of animals have tails. Tails can be short or long. They can be narrow or wide. A chameleon's tail is long and has a narrow tip. And then look at this bird. <clears throat> Hi, come on in, have a seat. We're sitting up kind of close so you can see pictures really well. So sit wherever you want to. This says animal tails can be straight or curved. They can be covered with skin or scales or hair or fur. When a woodpecker eats, it uses its stiff tail to support its body. So this woodpecker wants to peck really hard on the tree. So he hangs on with his feet and then his tail kind of keeps him up straight. That helps him. Hi, welcome. Got the shades on for today. Why do animals have tails? Many animals use their tails for balance as a cheetah. That cheetah is the fastest animal on earth. And as a cheetah chases its prey, it stretches its tail, and its tail helps the cheetah keep his balance when he twists and turns. Well, hello, come on in, have a seat. Is that Ella and Luke? <laughs> Sit with the kids? Yeah, not sure yet. Not sure yet. You sit wherever you want, but if you sit up close, you can see pictures better. The tiny harvest mouse uses his tail like a safety rope. He curls his tail tightly around a stalk as he climbs. Like many other animals, harvest mice use their tail for support. See his little tiny skinny tail? He is so tiny that even a piece of grass helps him to be steady. Wow, that's a tiny little mouse, isn't it? Yeah. Bushy tails. Pine martens live in forests and they run along narrow tree branches chasing squirrels. A pine martin's long bushy tail helps him to balance. See that bushy tail? And look at this one all curled around the baby. That's pretty cute. I bet that one helps him stay warm. A squirrel uses his long bushy tail for balance. Its tail is useful when it sleeps and the squirrel curls up and wraps his tail around his body to keep warm. Broad tails, here's kind of a wider one. Some squirrels fly from branch to branch. Flying squirrels have flaps of skin between their front and back legs and a broad tail. They use their flat, wide tail to steer, just like a sailboat. Does that look fun to be able to jump off a high place and just like a parachute, he can go down. Who's that? That's a beaver, yeah. Beavers have broad tails too. A beaver moves his tail up and down in the water as it swims and he uses his tail to, 
tail to steer in the right direction, they didn't mention one other thing that beavers do with their tails. Do you remember? Anybody know? What? They slap the water hard with their tails because that means danger. So if you were walking along and a, and a beaver saw you, he would be afraid and he'd slap the water to warn his friends that somebody's coming. Tails for hopping. When a kangaroo jumps, his strong tail moves up and down to help it keep balance. When a kangaroo stands still, the tail helps him stay upright. Hi, come on in. Have a seat wherever you want. You might want to sit close so you can see the pictures. Like the kangaroo, the desert gerbo has a very short, has very short front legs and look at his little tail. It helps him keep his balance. Look at those tiny little front legs. Doesn't that look like it'd be hard to run fast? He has a big fluffy body and tiny little front legs. So that tail and back helps him stay steady. Tails for swimming. A fish moves its tail fin from side to side. It curves its body at the same time and those movements help tuna and other fish swim. A whale is a mammal that lives in the water. Its tail is wide and flat. A whale moves its tail up and down to swim and its tail is so strong the whale can use it to keep up out of the water. Look at those. So have you ever used fins in the water on your feet when you go swimming? Have you ever put fins on your feet? That helps you swim just like tails do. And thick, oops, I think I missed one. Tails for flying. Birds use their tails in different ways as they fly. A swallowtailed kite hardly ever flaps his wing. Instead, it glides through the air using his tail to steer. And when, when a bird lands, it needs to slow down. So here's his landing gear, just like on an airplane. See how he's got his tail all spread out? Just like an airplane landing gear. That's right, you're exactly right. Thick tails. Alligators are large reptiles that live in swamps and rivers and they have strong thick tails. They move their tails from side to side to swim. A strong, thick tail can be a useful weapon. If an enemy tries to attack, a Komodo dragon uses its tail to whip from side to side, and it frightens the enemies away. Oh boy, that would frighten me away. Look at that. <coughs> Big, strong tail. Thin tails. Here's a little tiny tail. Many animals have thin tails. Their tails are not very strong, but are still useful. A zebra can swing its thin, hairy tail to keep the flies away. Look at that funny, bright colored tail. Oh, you've seen that before. Yep, you have. Elephants, look how giant an elephant is. But his tail is a little scrawny thing in the back. He has a small tail, but look, elephants are very large reptiles with very small, thin tails. A baby elephant sometimes holds his mother's tail as they walk along. Do you hold your mother's tail? No. no. What do you hold on to? Your mother's hand. Yep. Here's a stinging tail. Oh my goodness. Some tails are dangerous. A desert scorpion has a stinger in the tip of his tail. It uses a stinger to inject poison into an attacker or to kill something it wants to eat. Whoa, you don't want to be by that tail, do you? And the stingray is a fish with a deadly tail. If it is attacked, it whips its tail from side to side and two sharp spines at the base of the tail inject poison into whoever's attacking him. Look at those guys. Those are tails you want to stay away from, right? So, so far we've seen tails for balance, tails for warmth, tails for landing gear, tails for attacking something else. Here's a fancy tail. Can you sit down, sweetie? He can't see behind you. Some birds' tails are very colorful. The male bird of paradise shows off his colorful tail feathers by hanging upside down trying to attract, he's looking for a girlfriend. He thinks that'll get him a girlfriend. And look at the peacock. He thinks the same thing. See that beautiful tail on the peacock? 
he wants the girl peacock to think he's handsome. I think he's handsome, don't you? Tails for talking. A dog's tail wags. Why do, why do dogs wag their tail? What do you know about dogs when their tails wag? They're happy. That's a happy, s and oh, how about a snake when you hear a little rattle, rattle, rattle? What is that telling you? Stay away, that's danger. He's gonna, he doesn't want you that close. Okay, so those are tales that convey some ideas. All right, here's another big fat. See how fat that is? It's a tale book, all about different tales. I bet some of you have seen this. You might wanna come look at it afterward. <coughs> tales are furry, tails are spiny, tails are rainbow hued and shiny. Yeah, I'll put it up here. You can touch it when we're done. Tails stand up, and tails, some tails drag. Tails are frisky, and they wag, wag, wag. Hi, come on in. Hello. <coughs> Tail, some tails are fluffy. Some tails are stringy. Scaled tails strong and clingy. There's a possum hanging onto a tree. We have a, a real possum out in the um, diorama out there. We'll look at it when we go. Some tails are long and some tails are stumpy. Pulling, pulling tails make snoozers. Let's see what happens when you pull the tail. Oh, grumpy. I wouldn't like it if somebody pulled my tail, would you? Tails cool off. See that uh, pig's getting in the water to cool off. Uh, tails hot, tails swishing, swat, swat, swat. We read about tails that um, swish the flies away, right? Um, tails are broad, and tails can be skinny. Tails can sometimes be stinky. Who's that? A skunk, you're right. You've seen some large tails? We did. We saw, oh my gosh, a tamarind, a chipmunk, a weasel, a beaver. Look at all the tails we saw. And some are very small, like little chipmunks. Yeah. Now there's just one more. The biggest tail of all. What's that big blue thing? A whale's, a whale's tail, yep. Yeah? And these creatures you've met by tail and by name are lined up ready for a counting game. You want to help me count? One skunk, two tigers, three foxes, four panda bears, five pangolins, whoa, six weasels, seven chipmunks, eight alligators, nine tamarins, and ten, what's that guy? Pig, that's right. Okay. You know what? I'll put this book up here and you come up afterward and you can touch it all you want, okay? What do you do with a tail like this? Let me open the book up. What do you think he does with his tail? Remember we heard about some that swish their tails back and forth? Let's see. Animals use their noses, ears, tails, eyes, mouths, and feet very differently. If, see if you can guess which animal each part belongs to. Oh, wow. What do you do with a nose like this? Look at all those funny noses. Those are funny noses. What's this one? What's this one? You think so? Maybe. How about this one? What's that? Elephant. What's that? Do you know? That's a pretty one. It might be a mole, I bet you're right. What's that one? Alligator. How about that? A duck-billed platypus, I bet you're right. Let's see. Yep, there's the platypus. There's the hyena. That's what that was. It was a hyena. Whoa! And we guessed the elephant and the mole. You were right on the mole and the alligator. You guessed them. Good for you guys. What do you do with ears like these? Oh my goodness. Ears with ears like these. Does this look like an ear? No. 
It doesn't, but it must be. How about these guys' ears? Anybody know what that is? A bat, it might be. How about this one? Hippopotamus. How about this one? A bunny. Might be a kangaroo, might be a bunny. Who's this? I have it. Let's see. It was a bat and a bunny and a hippopotamus, and there's a cricket. It says a cricket hears with ears on his knees. Did you know that? Cricket's ears are on his knees, and there's the whale. <laughs> what do you do with a tail like this? Well, let's see. I bet we know what tail that is. A skunk. A skunk. How about this one? Do you remember? That looks like a scorpion, doesn't it? How about that? I bet you know what that is. A giraffe. What would a giraffe use that little skinny tail for? Balance. Balance, maybe. How about swishing flies away? See, it has a little swisher on the end. Let's see what these are. Yep, it was a giraffe, a skunk, a lizard. See this lizard? Did you know that lizards' tails can break right off and they can grow it back new? So if, if a lizard's running away and you catch his tail, he might just drop it right off and then be gone so that he gets to stay safe and his tail breaks off. There's the scorpion and a monkey hangs on the branch with his tail. And what do you do with eyes like these? Well, what does everyone do with their eyes? They look to see. Some eyes work in the daytime better, and some eyes are special for nighttime. So let's see what these are. Probably the big round ones work at night the best. So let's look. If you're an eagle, you can spot little animals when you're flying up very high. If you're a chameleon, you can look two ways at the same time. See how his eyes are pointing different directions? If you're a four-eyed fish, you can look above the water and below the water. If you're a horned lizard, you can squirt blood out of your eyes. Ooh. And if you're a bush baby, you use your eyes to see at night. All right. What do you do with feet like these? How about this one? See that big blue foot? What do you think that's good for? For swimming, you're exactly right. How about, look at this foot. Looks like a hand. Who do you think that belongs to? A Some kind of monkey or gorilla. What would he use it for? Climbing. Yep, climbing. Look at this funny foot. What do you use that for? Let's see. And here's a hoof. Somebody with a hoof on. Let's see. what. Oh, and look at this little tiny. What's that? Some kind of bug. Let's see. Uh, yep, it's a water strider, and he has tiny little feet so he can walk on the water. And there's a blue-footed booby. He does. He dances with his feet. And here's a gecko with feet that can walk on the ceiling. Did you know that? Oh my goodness! And the hoof was a mountain lion. And you're right. It was a chimpanzee who had the foot that looked kind of like a hand. Well, let's move on to talented tails up close. Okay, talented tails. So here's a spider monkey, and he uses his tail to hang onto branches so he can go high up in the trees. Here's a beaver. Remember, we talked about his tail splashes the water. And it helps him swim fast. See him splashing the water really hard? He's making the water splash. Eastern diamondback rattlesnake. Here's his tail. They shake their tails for a warning that if you don't look out, they're going to bite you. I'm glad they have a warning tail, aren't you? I would want to know if he's around. The great white shark. A shark is a fish, and his strong tail pushes him through the water. A shark's tail bends from side to side. And there he goes. 
his whole tail and his body swish. Can you do that like a fish does? Put your hands forward and turn one way and turn the other way. Twist your whole body. Swish through the water. That's how the, that's how the um, shark goes. And oh, look at the gray squirrel. He uses his ta tail for balance to help him push. How does a squirrel use his tail? To balance on tree branches, but that's not all. When it rains, a squirrel uses his tail to make an umbrella. And on cold nights, <coughs> on cold nights, it's like a blanket. And there's a platypus. Look, his, his beak and his tail are kind of the same. They're both flat and wide. It says he stores fat in his tail. So the tail makes a good paddle and it helps him swim. Here is a blue-tailed skink. This is one of those lizards that can just drop his tail off if he gets in a trap or if somebody catches him by the tail. He just lets his, this, lets his tail go and he goes on his merry way. See the break in it? He's a blue-tailed skink. And here's what your tailbone looks like. You have two bones on your bottom and it looks like it, and they call them your tailbones. Did you know you had tails? Okay. Yes, that's right. Look what tails can do. See that possum? They look kind of cute in the picture, don't they? Look what tails can do. Look at those kangaroos. They're even standing up on their tails to fight each other. Those are strong tails, aren't they? Holding up a whole kangaroo. Okay. Tails are everywhere. The ring-tailed lemurs hold their spike tails high when they move around. That way they can find each other in the grass. You know, I think I have a more fun guessing book. Let's look at this one. Whose tail is this? Let's see. Let's guess this one. Who has this tail? This isn't very easy. It curls around a tree branch and lets somebody swing through the trees. Who would have that tail? A monkey. A monkey, you're right. Who has this tail? A rattlesnake. Oh my goodness. Yep, there he is. How about that tail? What does that look like? Some kind of fish. Let's see. It's a shark's tail. Ooh, that looks kind of scary. Who has that nice long tail? Let's see who that is. It's a gerbil. It looks so big, I didn't guess it was a gerbil, but it's a gerbil. See his long tail? That helps him balance, doesn't it? <coughs> who has that tail? I bet you know that one. Squirrel. It's a horse. <laughs> they swish the flies away with those tails. Uh-oh, who has that tail? Ooh, that's a, see the stinger on the end? That's a scorpion. And there he is, ready to pounce. They live in a desert. Luckily, we don't have scorpions by us, do we? Who's that? A peacock. That pretty tail. Let's see. Oh, there he is. He's trying to show off for his girlfriend, isn't he? Oh, there's a fluffy white tail. Who could have that? Who? A wolf or, or a fox in the, in the snow. Did you have another guess? A polar bear. A polar bear. Oh, it's an Arctic fox. It's a fox that lives up in the snow, and polar bears have white tails too, don't they? Just like you said. Who has that tail? It's kind of, what is it? A beaver, you're right, kind of spiny. There he is. Oh, now, let's see. And there we have pictures of all the tails. All right, I think I have one more guessing book. Let's try this one. Whose tail is this? Who's that one? A whale. A whale. A shark? Something in the water, right? Let's see. 
Oh, I bet you know that one. A peacock. a peacock, I bet you're right, yep. This is a peacock's tail, only the male peacock has such a beautiful tail. And a female's peacock's tail feathers are shorter and duller than the male's because she doesn't want other animals to notice her because she has to take care of the eggs. So she wants to hide. Whose tail is this holding on to the branch? I think that's a monkey, let's see. It is, it's a spider monkey's tail. The monkey uses his tail to hang from a branch and now he can use two hands to catch a ball or to grab some fruit, something to eat. Whose tail is this bouncing along? I bet it is, yep, the kangaroo. Tall, uh, the tail sticks out behind the kangaroo and that helps the kangaroo keep his balance. And you already knew that one, right? The whale, yep, there he is. Whose tail is this waving back and forth? Let's see what that is. It's a gecko, a gecko lizard's tail. Whose tail is that that rattles and makes noise? <coughs> That's a snake, you're right. Whose tail is this hanging onto some seaweed? Who hangs on to seaweed? A seahorse, let's see. It is. It says the seahorse is a fish, but he has a long curled tail like a monkey. And when the seahorse is resting, his tail holds on to the underwater plants and that keeps him from floating away with the waves. Whose tail is this pinned on tight? Who pins a tail on? Who would pin their tail on? Do you know? <clears throat> Have you ever played pin the tail on a donkey? A person pinned a tail on that one. Okay, so I have another guessing game. Before we do this, let's sing a song. <clears throat> Can you be a little squirrel? Put your paws out in front. Gray squirrel, gray squirrel, swish your bushy tail. Can you squish your tail? Gray squirrel, gray squirrel, swish your bushy tail. Wrinkle up your funny nose, hold a nut between your toes. Gray squirrel, gray squirrel, swish your bushy tail. Okay, very good. So I have a bunch of uh, guessing games for you and we'll put them up here when you guess them. So my long bushy tail is just right for me. I balance with it when I jump in a tree. And we just sang a song about him, what's that? I know, it's a squirrel. Okay, the jungle trees are my own gym. I can swing by my tail cur curled around a limb. What am I? A monkey, you're right. My bushy tail is a pretty sight with rings of dark and rings of light. We haven't talked about this one. No, it's black and white. Let me show you the tail and see if you can figure it out. It's a raccoon, you're right. My tail curls around my nose. When I lie down, I purr and doze. Who do you know? A cat, yeah. If any dangers come my way, I drive them off with a smelly spray. Who's skunks, yep. My tail is scarcely a tail at all. It's white and fluffy like a cotton ball. Who am I? A rat? A bunny, <laughs> right. My tail is strong and thick and flat. It hits the water, spat, spat, spat. Who am I? A beaver, yep. Whenever I meet someone I know, I wag my tail to say hello. A dog. A dog, you're right. Good guessers. I saw a snake last year on the road. You saw a snake on the road? Oh, a skunk, oh boy. Okay, why animals have tails? Let's see if I have one more fun book here for you. Here's another guessing book. If you, get, if you see the tails, toes, eyes, ears, and nose, see if you can tell what the animal is. What's that animal? An elephant, you're right. Tail, toes, eyes, ears, and nose. What's that? A horse. A horse, you're right. Now, 
Look at the pink one. Tails, toes, eyes, ears, and nose. What am I? A piggy. A piggy. You're right. Uh, here's a, another pink one with a straight tail. Tail, toes, eyes, ears, and nose. Look at that little tiny nose. And those round ears. Maybe a mouse. What did you say? <laughs> it's a mouse. Yep. Oh, look at this one. Tail, toes, eyes. Look at those green eyes, ears, and nose. Looks like it might be a cat. Let's see. It is. Yes. How about this one with spots and a tail and ears and a nose? What do you think that is? A dog. Let's see. It is. Oh, here's a different kind of tail. See that puffy? A rabbit. Let's see. It is. Oh, look at. <laughs> he is very quick. See the big ears? We knew that. And look at the nose. We knew from that it would be an elephant, didn't we? Oh, here's a tougher one, a blue tail, toes, eyes, ears, and nose. Might be a peacock. It's definitely a bird, isn't it, with a beak? But look at that tail. Is that a peacock tail? No. What? It is a bird, though, isn't it? It's a bird. That's all it says. <laughs> oh, look at this one. No tail at all. See the toes? Do they look familiar? See the ears and the eyes? You think that's a human? It's a boy. Yep. Now, oh, here's a whole bunch of different tails. So we already know what those are. OK. And let's see if I have one more, a tail of tails. We have time for one more before we go for a walk. Are you ready? Let's see what this says. My dog has a tail he can wag when he's glad. My cat has a tail she can swish when she's mad. Have you ever seen a kitty swish her tail when she's angry? Ooh, or when she's hunting. A very fine tail has a big kangaroo. Look at the little baby kangaroo in the pocket. And so has the lion who lives in the zoo. A horse has a tail for brushing off flies. Look, that lion's sad. Yeah. The lion said, he does look kind of sad, doesn't he? An elephant's tail is quite small for his size. See how tiny that is on that big old elephant? <coughs> and a monkey can swing by his tail from a tree. Oh, everyone has a tail except me, says the little boy. A fish has a tail that can help him to swim. A mouse has a tail that is longer than him. A tail of the rabbit is fluffy and small. The tail of a whale is the largest of all. A pig has a tail with a curl and a bend, and a snake has a tail with a head on one end. A snake is a tail, kind of, isn't he? A pollywog's tail disappears as he grows. And even a snail has a tail, I suppose. Little gray squirrels that live on our tree have tails that are bushy, as bushy can be. And such a small tail has a big polar bear, I doubt very much that he knows it's there. A bird has a tail that can help him to fly. They all have tails, why can't I? He doesn't have a tail, does he? Oh.